All right, pass or fail, major key code point. Hopefully you're focusing on a few things here. You're looking at that draft hood and you're going, oh, this is a category one natural gas appliance, or it could be propane. But whether it's propane or natural gas, if it has a draft hood on it, it's a category one appliance. The thing you don't know, but the thing you will eventually recognize when you see this type of construction, it's a telltale sign that the chimney is on the outside of the building. You just start looking at things. Your dynamic awareness is just going to increase leaps and bounds as you start recognizing these key pieces when you're in buildings. You're just going to become more and more aware of them. You won't even admit you may have gone down the basement. You never even went outside. You get to the water heater to replace it, and you look and you go, the chimney's exposed to the outside. Why do you know that? Well, I can tell by looking at it, the way it was constructed inside. Are you shitting me? No, I'm not shitting you. You're going to be able to do that. As long as you're aware of what you're doing and your surroundings, your situational awareness is key. It is a chimney that was exposed to the outside, it blew a huge hole in it, and then they like filled it in and they did a decent job at fixing everything. It's actually sleeved properly. The liner is dropped down the chimney and it has a cap on the top. There's something missing, even though this is really good job. Thimble coming through the wall, liner coming through it. So if the liner failed, something happened, they could just yank it out and yank a new one in. Don't have to blow holes in, reach in, pull it through. Does anybody know what's missing right there? You line a chimney or you have somebody line a chimney for you. Um, these are the things you need to be aware of. There needs to be a label placed either on that thimble or somewhere on the wall. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now, 88% of the plumbers don't do it. But yeah, because you don't want somebody to ever tie something onto that piece of corrugated chimney liner that they shouldn't, like a wood stove or a oil-fired boiler or water heater. He goes to that. That was already wrong. Um, the liner's good. The thimble's good, but there's no label there. One more thing. They focused on the venting. Remember, this is called single wall metal vent connector material that is tied onto the draft hood. So your galvanized vent connector material will have to be scheduled 24 or 26. Um, what is the distance from combustible materials from single wall metal galvanized 26, 24 gauge vent connector material? Six inches, that was a fail. This is a fail for a couple of reasons. Six inches, but hopefully you all learned a bunch of uh, stuff because we just talked about 10 separate questions on an exam just by that one picture. 